Hi, hello, welcome to the channel. So today we are doing something quite different for this channel actually. It's something I've been, I've worked on for at least a month I think. It took quite a bit of time actually because, well, things do take time sometimes, don't they? What I've done is I have redecorated my entire bedroom exciting isn't it for me at least <laughs> this is gonna be a series i guess you could say i'm gonna split it into like three videos because if not it would just be one humongously long video you know can't be doing that so it's gonna be centered around three sort of things one the last one being like the entirety of the room but i have two furnitures two furnitures what the hell two pieces of furniture <laughs> the furniture are weird that i am going to fix up or like redecorate so it'll be one video which is this video the first one of the series which is why i'm introducing this it's about my closet and the other one will be about my bookshelf this cute little bookshelf that i redecorated in a really cute way i quite like it and the last video will as i said be the sort of like main video about the entirety of the room like entirety like how it turned out the entire thing you know and believe me when i say there was a lot a lot of work involved in this things kept coming up and i kept having to change them and do things in a new way and oh my god it was very stressful you will see i've cut out huge chunks of that but you will see some of it so since i haven't done this kind of filming before some of the like clips that i put in might be a little bit weird at least at first because i was kind of doing all of this at the same time you know like i was doing most of this at the same time and i was just trying to hide them <laughs> in each shot that i had so i wouldn't like accidentally show off too much of the bookcase in the closet video or like show off too much of the work i was doing on the walls during any of the videos you know but you're gonna see some of it but then again just just pretend like you don't see it you know you can pretend it's fine you'll you'll survive so that's enough of my rambling i think so i'll just send the microphone back to myself in the past i suppose <laughs> so yeah enjoy the video so this is the closet before the makeover so to speak i sadly didn't film a whole lot on the first before i started because i was very excited to get started you know silly me forgot about that but yeah as you can see here i did take some pictures though for you to have a bit of a look at this is like the inside of it and the outside of the closet and i did a lot on the inside without showing you so but it was it was boring anyway it's fine it's fine on top of my closet i've got this ridges and i'm gonna fill them in it's kind of difficult in case you haven't noticed to try and get all of these fucking angles because well i'm filming on my phone and i don't really have many stunts i only have one and it's quite tall to get like these sort of like downwards angles so right now <laughs> you are balanced against the foot of that stand hoping that will help so anyway let's get into it i need to fill up this stuff i've got the chalk is it called that it's called acryl i'm not sure <laughs> I, can't. I don't know but it's to fill the ridges with and i've got some soap water so let's get started shall we so my dad taught me this literally yesterday <laughs> so i'm doing my best it smells like shit i'll tell you that either this goes really well <laughs> and I'm fucking talented or I just create a huge mess that I'll have to fix, you know? Either way, I'll learn something. I'm probably just making a mess. Does it look great? No. <laughs> Hopefully this will just, I don't know, magically make it better. Okay, well, if it doesn't end up very good, I'll just put spots on top. <laughs> Don't ask me what this water is supposed to do, but it does something and I've been told to do it. <laughs> so I will. So here I'm filling in the second ridge on top of the closet because there used to be this headpiece, so to speak, on top there that I removed. And of course I forgot to film it as I do, you know how it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill in those so it doesn't stick out because that's gonna look weird now that I've removed that headpiece. So this is what we're working with so far in the process. Not all that bad if I dare say so myself considering the inexperience, you know, not that bad. That's it for this today. I'm gonna try to get some more sanding work done before I go get my second dose of the COVID vaccine today. So yeah, get vaccinated people. I'm serious about this one people, go get your vaccines.
So I went back, scraped off some of the excess, neatened it up, you know, removed some of that spillage over there and made it look a bit nicer and saved myself a bit of work. So with that, this is what we are currently working with. Okay, so uh, we're just going to try this yet again. Can you see any of it? I don't really know. I'm sorry, it's very difficult to get camera angle up here. I'm working with my phone and that's about it. So, but yeah, on top of this, um, where I used the acrylic, I'm now going to use sparkle. Is it called sparkle in English? I don't know, because I've been calling it sparkle constantly. It's called sparkle. So, yeah, if I look tired, um, that's only because I am. <laughs> I am tired. So, yeah, deal with it, you know. I'm doing this in the morning. Am I talented with, with sparkle? N no. <laughs> Not really, no. But, you know, live and learn. So long story short, after applying the acrylic, I was a little worried it was going to end up being too raised and bumpy. And since acrylics are rather difficult to sand down, I decided to wipe away some excess and then just like fill in the last bit with spackle instead. Because, you know, that's much easier to sand down than the acrylics and just easier to control in general. And with the spackling done, this is how the top of the closet was looking thus far. So here's the top of the closet with the acrylics and the spackling finished and the first layer of paint primer applied. Okay, so today we are going to be working on the closet or the wardrobe, if you will. And for that one, I have chosen this lovely black color. Don't mind him. He's just over there doing his thing. So yeah, I've chosen this lovely black color in a silky matte finish. So yeah, I think it's going to be really nice. Okay, so I think I'm ready to begin with the black colour. It's a little bit difficult to <laughs> get a good angle. So you're just going to have to see me fling my paintbrush around and just, you know, I'll show you afterwards. But in the meantime, you can just assume that it is getting black. Do not judge my clothes. <laughs> I'm here to paint, not to have a fashion week. So as you can see, at this point, I had already painted the inside of the closet, like the inside is completely finished. I just used this like kind of off-white pale sand color that I've got on the roof, actually the same one that I have on the roof. And yeah, that was just kind of boring, just watching me paint white on white. So I just decided not to film that and save you the trouble, honestly. Okay, seeing as this is rather tedious work, I will just come back to you later. I'll paint, you've seen this, you know, I'm going to paint the edge down and the bottom panel of it and I'll just show you when I'm done instead so you don't have to sit and watch this because honestly it's just going to take a while. Okay, so uh, I have finished the closet, well the edges anyway. It was a bit difficult, I will definitely say that because, well, it's just a bit tricky. Like in there for instance, as you might see. But yeah, I think it turned out somewhat pretty good, yeah? Hold on, I want to try if I can do this. Look! That's the top of it. So it is very much so been painted. That took a little bit of time with me just trying to paint the little edges and smooth away on the inside so it doesn't look completely messed up. But I think it turned out somewhat pretty good, you know? Like somewhat, I think so. So anyway, um, we are now ready to get on to with the doors. So, I don't know, I have, I'm, having, I'm having such trouble speaking today. But yeah, we're going to be also painting the wardrobe doors and the wardrobe drawers. Let's get on to it, shall we, with the doors? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hello, we're back again. And this time I'm priming the inside of my closet doors. Ooh, look at that, just look at that. Just love watching that horrible naked wood white kind of color just get painted over. Honestly, I have beef with just naked, untreated wood. So yeah, I enjoy watching it slowly disappear after haunting my life for far too many years now. It's dark, it's tragic, I want something lighter. So just thought I'd let you watch this one because there's a, you know, a proper transformation when you see it go from the, the pale wood to the final white product. So yeah, enjoy that.
And here it is, after bonneting that horrible naked wooden colour and replacing it with this lovely white canvas. And with that, we are ready to move on to the colour, this lovely, sleek, beautiful matte black. Here they are after the first layer of colour and with that we are on to the drawers. Oh wow, look at that. Magic. Anyway, let's move on. So after quickly zooming past the paint primer part, oh, oh wow, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Paint primer part, paint primer part, what, put, okay, anyway. After doing that, we are on to the first layer of the black colour on the wardrobe drawers. Oh, and here we are onto the second coat on the front of the closet doors. The first coat of which you have not seen because, um, well, I uh, forgot to film it. So, um, yeah, just en en enjoy that. Oh, oh we're onto the back. Okay, good. Yes, you've seen this. So this is the second layer on the part that you have seen. So, um, yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, right? Looking good, isn't it? I'm, I'm good at YouTubing. And now we're on to the second coat on the wardrobe drawers. I think I ended up having like three coats. I think I only filmed the first and the second one. The, the white did kind of show through the color and I wanted it to be completely smooth and lovely. So yeah, I think three coats was what we ended up with. And here they are in all their lovely black matte glory. They are looking very nice. The only thing is you can see the lines there in the drawers, like the tracks where you put them on. I ended up painting that black because I didn't like the way it looked. It showed when you pulled it back and I, yeah, I didn't really like that. But other than that, they are done. Like that's the only difference. Okay, so um, a small intermission here. Uh, I had forgotten to record anything really showing the other color that I would be using on the um, the detailing on everything which is a beautiful beautiful gold I was really happy that I found it because I thought the idea of like putting a little bit of gold into it would be really really nice with the entire color scheme that I'm doing which you will see in later videos on the entire room you know because there's several colors going into this room and I wanted it to be lively and happy and just all around really nice I wanted it to have a bit of everything you know because I absolutely love black and like matte black colors I love it but I am terribly afraid of spiders <laughs> and I'm not even joking when I tell you that that is one of the main reasons I decided to not paint a wall black is because when I go to sleep at night I'd like to just quickly scan the room in like a light color and be like oh I don't see any black spots on the wall so there's no spiders in my bedroom and I can sleep comfortably you know <laughs> and that is genuinely one of the reasons but anyway I'm going off on a tangent I um, didn't mean to do that I had chosen this beautiful gold paint it's so pretty and I was so happy to have found it because oh my god I was looking around for it and so many people were like oh you can only get that on spray cans and I'm like no I don't want that I don't want that I want proper paint with gold in it. I just wanted to be glittery gold and I wanted to be in paint. And I did find it and I was happy about that. Tiny bits of gold is fun and especially with black in my opinion. So yeah, that's what we're doing in this one. 
and um, you'll see I've got some more fun things planned later on because I also love crystals and I'm going to incorporate that into this closet so you will see how that turns out. I'm gonna let myself in the past get back to it now so <laughs> enjoy! And here it is, the paint that took me forever to find. The consistency of this one was actually quite weird. It was like a lot thicker and more gloopy than normal paint for some reason. But as you can see, it was absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Look at that, just so lovely. So here is the first layer of the gold paint on the, just the edges there, like the little cutouts on the closet door with the mirror on it. And as you can see, you can still kind of see through it, but it's actually showing up rather well for this thin kind of metallic paint on a black surface. So it's, it's doing quite well, you know. And with that, we are onto the other door and the first layer of gold paint on this one. Here's how it's looking after the first coat of the gold paint on the closet doors. It's looking pretty good, but still kind of see through. So with that, we are onto our second coat. This is pretty much just me painting more gold on top of gold anyway. So I'll just spare you the rest of the coats. After the many coats of black and shiny, shiny gold, we are left with these lovely pieces. And by now they are nearly finished. The drawers are technically finished here, but as I said, I did end up painting those tracks black as well. This is looking absolutely gorgeous though, like look at this. But as you can see, there is some small like touch-ups left that I'm gonna have to do. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the next on the agenda. And here I am doing said touch-ups and believe you me, there were a lot of touch-ups. I was doing this for hours and my hand was really cramping up by the end of it. With that done, I went ahead and removed the painting tape from the mirror and we are now ready for the finishing touches on the closet doors and the drawers and you know, hanging them up and all of that. And also some of this paint tape really does stick after having dried a bit, so I was struggling a little bit with that, but it all came out rather smoothly in the end. So, you know, no damage done there. Here is the result of the paint job. And with that, we are ready to move on to the very last finishing detail of the closet. Okay, so the handles that I ordered for my wardrobe have finally arrived. They are little amethyst ones, natural amethyst clusters, and they are so cute. Look at them. Aren't they cute? They are adorable. We have one that's like a white one, but still amethyst. Really love crystals and amethyst, so of course I needed somehow to <laughs> integrate that into my new room. My favourite, I think, is probably this one I showed you, because it's a different shape. Most of them are kind of like rounded. Turns out that they didn't really do that with this, but which is nice because we get like these little spikes. I don't know. <laughs> Very cute. I like them a lot. This one's really pretty though. It's like a classical, you know, just a classical amethyst cluster kind of vibe. So let's just put them on, shall we? 
It was at this point I realised just how short the included screws are and that they barely stick out on the other side of the closet door. And that was me, breaking off a piece of the drawer with one of the screws. This is going great so far. <laughs> And here's just a quick little close-up of how the amethyst knobs ended up looking right after putting them on. And believe it or not, despite the very small screws, they are in fact very stuck, like they sit very well. And well, it works well. And oh, there you are! Hello! And with that, the closet is now fully finished and it is looking really nice if you ask me. Look at it, it's very nice, very sleek. I really like the gold details and of course the amethyst handles, which also has like tiny little gold details on it by the way, which is, matches very well. I was a little bit skeptical about putting gold into the deeper ridges as you can see on the closet door on the right but i i think i really like it i think i ended up really really enjoying that it's a good look and this is the inside of it look at it so much nicer so much lighter and clean it's very nice just a clean white proper surface you know a lot lighter than that dark dark wood that used to be there also i did end up painting the little room where the drawers are black as well by the way so there's absolutely none of that dark wooden color left in it now because it looked really weird when i pulled out the drawers and i could see it and that just annoyed me so i just decided to paint it black inside of there you know for the easiest sake but yeah it's looking good in my opinion this is the boring closet before look at it so boring so bland and this is it now full of character full of life and very full of my personality <laughs> it's just fun isn't it and there you can see also that little headpiece that i was talking about that's now gone which just makes it a lot easier to like put boxes on top of there and stuff like that so you don't have to like lift it over it look at that that awful 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 color like that horrible wooden i oh, hate it it's so much nicer now so much nicer look at that it's sleek it's pretty just i love it i love it so that was the first part of this you know redecoration journey if you will so i'd love to hear what you thought about it did you like it did you hate it tell me <laughs> you know i'm open to hearing it not everyone has the same style you know so understandably something i think looks lovely and turned out really well might just be someone else's complete fucking nightmare you know <laughs> you never know with these things that's the thing about fashion and taste isn't it honestly i just had a vision in my mind and i decided to do that you know oh and also i don't think i mentioned this in the intro i have a new microphone like look at it this one that was not a very good angle, but I can't really be bothered to switch it up too much, you know, because girls got stuff to do. But yeah, it's the HyperX, and it's really fucking good, I think, actually. So, like, if you hear a big difference, or any difference at all in audio quality, please tell me, like, give me feedback, people. <laughs> I'm ready to hear it, you know? I really like it so far, so yeah, that was just a, a, quick, little, a quick little update, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, if you liked it, please, you know like the video and subscribe if you'd like to continue watching this um this redecoration adventure of mine <laughs> and see what else i come up with for the rest of my my bedroom you know it's quite interesting i, I think you should i think you should subscribe you know like personally i think you should subscribe <laughs> i have some fun ideas we have fun here you know so thank you for you know stopping by and watching and having fun with me here because that's that's what I try to do, you know? <laughs> like I said, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinions about it. I, I, I genuinely really would. So please do drop a comment, you know? That would be really, really fun for me. And the next one will, like I said, be the second part of this redecoration thing. So yeah, please stop by for that one as well. And I will see you then. Bye! Bye! Bye, 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 bye!